this video on how to build a plate loudspeaker. Now, the way plate loudspeaker works is the same way as, you know, the DC motor, the homopolar motor, or pretty much most um, electromagnetic devices work. It's, it's, there is an interaction between the magnetism uh, generated by a coil of wire and a permanent magnet. Now, this magnetism generated by a permanent coil of wire is actually going to be generated by an audio signal, which means that there's going to be different levels of current flowing in that coil, which uh, will effectively mean that the coil is repelled from the permanent magnet at different rates. So, to draw an image, you'd have, say, you know, a stereo system. And that system, you know, would have wires going out to two pairs of speakers, and we're just going to use one pair of those wires. If this was plus and that was minus. Um, these wires are going to basically be hooked up to a coil, and that coil is going to be hooked up to a permanent magnet. And let's say, you know, we're going to use a sizable neodymium permanent magnet. It's going to look like that. And this magnet has a magnetic field going from north to south. And now this coil is going to go out. Go back there. Now the signal generated by the stereo system is going to be this kind of inconsistent current that goes boom, silent, loud, silent, and various kind of levels of noise. And as these levels vary, the repulsion of this coil to the mag magnet is going to vary. So right now what would happen, you'd have a bouncing coil on the magnet. And how do we get this bouncing coil to generate sound? Well, that's relatively straightforward. What we're going to do to do that is just attach the coil to a plate. So let's say this, this black is going to be a structure we're going to build, and if that, say, is a, a thin plastic plate, then this thin plastic plate is going to vibrate with the coil, and then it's going to shake. It's going to shake the air molecules in here, which are going to compress and decompress. And this compression and decompression of air is what sound is. That's precisely um, what's happening right now as you're listening to me. You know, the air is vib the air coming out adjacent to your speakers of your um, laptop, PC, or even headphones is uh, having waves of compressions and decompressions, and you're detecting those with your ears and you're hearing me. So, yeah, that's how it works. Now, um, some logistical challenges to this, well, we're going to need a sizable magnet, we're going to use this neodymium one, and you're going to need a relatively strong sound signal going into your coil. Now for a coil, I think we're going to use the 0 0.5, 0 0.05, or 0 0.5, 0 0.5 millimeter um, copper wire. And for this signal, ideally, if you have a stereo, you would just uh, connect the wire to your stereo. Um, it's not going to work with a phone or an iPhone. That signal is not strong enough. But um, we're going to actually use my phone, but I'm going to get, instead of having stereos in my living room, so instead of going all the way there, I'm just going to use a audio amplifier right here. Okay, that's the theory. Now let's get to building it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out a piece of paper that's roughly uh, the same sort of thickness as that magnet there. And if I just make a mark with my pen, Okay, 
So we have a little strip of paper, and what we're going to do with the strip of paper is we're going to roll it around something that's perhaps slightly larger than this magnet, and I have a perfect thing. It's the same glue stick that I'm going to use to make that roll, so... Basically, I'm just going to... Next is we're going to grab some of this half a mil thickness laminated um, copper wire and wrap probably about two and a half meters. So I'm going to measure it out. Now we're just going to wrap it until... Make sure to leave one end loose because we're going to connect both ends of this wire. Now, at the very end, we can sort of tie it up so it doesn't come loose. There we are. That's our coil, and if we can remove it, that would be awesome. The edges of the Okay, so here it is, and uh, the key test comes with the real magnet. Now, these magnets are going to start sticking to all kinds of equipment that you have, so watch out for them. Yep, that is perfect. So what we're going to do next is grab this plate and glue gun this guy to the very center. Now... The plastic is actually, I'm going to squirt some of this out first, just to make sure, yep, it's all good. And the plastic's probably going to sort of deform a little bit, but it'll be fine. And place this guy right in the center. You should probably leave it for at least five minutes to dry. Okay, we're ready to give this thing a little test. Um, we're first going to just burn the ends of these wires off a little bit. Then we're going to attach these alligator cables. Uh, which are then attached to the amplifier which is connected to my phone so if we just put the magnet down put the plate on top of the magnet and on my phone i'm going to play something from a site that gives free intro music where i got the, the intro music for this song and we're gonna see if anything comes out of this plate i don't know where to put the phone i'll put it there Do you hear this, guys? It's coming from the plate, and only the plate.
Okay, um, so, in order to get this thing to work permanently, um, uh, you could use, say, a pair of unneeded business cards I found these lying about the house from a former housemate, and just kind of fold them in a W shape, and hopefully, after we stick them to the bottom, what we're going to get is, um, the display is going to be playing at a relatively good volume. that so we made some adjustments we've actually put two cards on the bottom and now the speaker works great freestyle just check it out <laughs> 